Moving on to the eighth round, which consists of single crochet stitches and single crochet increase stitches, we'll end with a total of 45 stitches. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then crochet six single crochet increase stitches. Continue with 4 single crochet stitches. Then crochet 1 single crochet increase stitch. Follow this with another 4 single crochet stitches. Then 6 single crochet increase stitches. And finally crochet 10 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and finish the rest on your own. After completing, remove the marker and execute a slip stitch. This completes the round. For rounds 9 to 11, we'll crochet 45 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases ending with a total of 45 stitches for each round. Begin with a chain stitch. Count 1. Two, and please finish the rest on your own. After completing each round, remove the marker and perform a slip stitch. This concludes the rounds. For the 12th round, we will combine single crochet stitches and single crochet decrease stitches, ending with a total of 40 stitches. Begin with a chain stitch. Then crochet 12 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and complete the rest on your own daughter. Next, we'll proceed with a single crochet decrease stitch. Please pay close attention to the method for the decrease stitch. A complete stitch appears as a V shape. For the decrease, we select the outer half of the V to crochet, which is the half closest to us. Insert the hook under the first half of the V of the first stitch, then immediately pick up the half V of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops on the hook. This completes our single crochet decrease stitch. Then, crochet a group of three single crochet stitches and one single crochet decrease stitch together, making a total of two groups. I'll show you one group. Crochet three single crochet stitches. Then, 
then one single crochet decrease stitch. Please complete the remaining group on your own. Continue with 15 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and complete the rest on your own. Next, crochet 2 single crochet decrease stitches. and finish with two single crochet stitches. After completing, remove the marker and perform a slip stitch. This concludes the round dot. For the 13th round, we will combine single crochet stitches and single crochet decrease stitches, ending with a total of 36 stitches. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet 12 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and complete the rest on your own. Next, crochet 1 single crochet decrease stitch. Then, Create a group with two single crochet stitches and one single crochet decrease stitch, making a total of two groups. I'll show you one group. Crochet two single crochet stitches. Then one single crochet decrease stitch. Please complete the next group on your own. Continue with 15 single crochet stitches. Counting one. 2, and complete the rest on your own. Then, crochet 1 single crochet decrease stitch. And finish with 1 single crochet stitch. After finishing, remove the marker and perform a slip stitch. This completes the round. Moving on to the 14th round, which consists of single crochet stitches and single crochet decrease stitches, we'll end with a total of 32 stitches. Begin with a chain stitch, then crochet 7 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and please finish the rest on your own. Next, crochet 1 single crochet decrease stitch. followed by a pattern of three single crochet stitches. One single crochet decrease stitch. Two single crochet stitches. One single crochet decrease stitch. Three single crochet stitches. One single crochet decrease stitch. And finally crochet 13 single crochet stitches, counting 1, 2, and complete the rest on your own. After completing, remove the marker and execute a slip stitch. This concludes the round 2.